This holiday season, a Queens man says he's lucky enough to have two jobs he loves. He's a teacher by day and sells Christmas trees by night. CBS 2's Kieran Dillon reports he says he's spreading joy in both jobs. Merry Christmas! This is Greg Walsh. He's known to some as the tree man. And I know every single tree in this lot. Every single one. I know its whole life. When he's not taking care of business or playing Santa's elf at one of his five Christmas tree locations. So where else can you do this and see the little kids' faces light up? He's a special ed teacher. I, I, I've loved teaching. No school day is here. Even more challenging in these times, he's doing it remotely. I'm good at bringing kids out of their shells. That's what I'm good at. And it's, it's I'm getting goosebumps. But now, tis the season, as they say. So when the school day is done, Greg turns his attention to his trees. For more than three decades, this has been his seasonal business and his passion. Like everything else this year, there was uncertainty about it. Question, would there or could there be any business? People are so happy we're here. I've been doing this for 35 years. Never have people been so excited when they got their tree. I'm certain of that. A jolly relief. And for Greg, another part of this season of giving is that it's his season of giving, of giving away trees. He says it's an important part of spreading holiday cheer. We donate to different groups. We, we're here in Papua Newson. We also cover the people we give trees to. Susan Brussman is the executive director of the Papua Newson Institute in College Point, Queens, a cultural center that offers free and low-cost programs to the community. This year, she says, the trees and decorations that Greg is donating are even more meaningful. It's very rough, so any dollar we have to spend is difficult. So having the tree donated this year is more important than ever. The same is true for the Union Settlement in East Harlem. Greg donated 10 trees there for families in need. And this one's also one of his, lighting up the corner of 106th and 3rd. It was a good holiday season for Greg's trees this year, hopefully a sign of things to come. But no matter what, he says some traditions will always remain the same. In College Point, Queens, Kieran Dillon, CBS 2 News. Be sure to celebrate the season with us. Uh, our holiday special is this Friday. I'm hosting it 530 right here on CBS 2.